What's up guys? So today I'm off to do a prom and I just kind of want to show you guys what was in my hair and makeup kit since I kind of got it down to the way I like it. There's still some stuff that I want to do and add and organize and like things like that. But for the most part, I like the way that it is. Um, so this is a two-piece kit. It has a um, thing that goes on top, which is where I put my hair stuff. Um, I didn't put it on top for the video because... It's on my bed right now, and I feel like if I put it on top, it's just gonna fall on over. But I'll leave a picture somewhere over here. But I got it off Amazon. I think it was like $1.95 or something like that. It's a great investment. Um, super durable, super sturdy, and there's tons of storage space. So that's what I absolutely love about it. So I'm just gonna show you the makeup portion, and then I'll show you the hair portion, and then what goes in my backpack. Okay, so it has this top portion, and you can put makeup brushes in here. I don't like to. I have my different way of doing it, as you'll see in a second. And then first right here, I have two Sigma brush canisters. Um, one has face brushes, and one has eye brushes. Um, I do carry more brushes as well, as you'll see. So these are all the eye brushes I carry. A couple of these got stained when I did have any makeup. So they are clean, don't freak out. I always deep clean my brushes before I go do some type of job. And then these are a couple face brushes. Um, not all my face brushes obviously fit in here. I just have like a couple of my essentials, like my MAC 135, a um, couple of Morphe, some e.l.f. brushes, they're my favorite. I also have backups as you'll see later in the video. Put that back in there. In here, I have the Real Techniques Beauty Blenders. Um, this little bag just came with like a travel bottles um, that you'll see later in the video. This one sadly got squished, so I have to throw him away. Um, but usually, like I find these being the better route when it comes to um, makeup application, just because they're extremely comparable to. The actual beauty blenders and I find that I do have to replace beauty blenders a lot because you can probably only use them a couple times on a client even like deep cleaning before they're stained and ruined so um, usually they have the two pack for $10.99 and usually you could get sometimes they have buy one get one 50% off so you could get like four for 15 bucks so that's why I like those and then in here I have my toolkit so I just have some eyebrow razors, a sharpener, some tape, um, little scissors here, two sets of tweezers, one for eyebrows and then one for lashes, and then I have my mixing palette down here too, and sadly it looks like some shaving fell up. Um, and this is just a photo box from And then in here I keep an emergency kit. So I have aloe vera in case someone has sunburn or something. Um, I have Altoids if someone just feels like their breath is kicking. Some nail clippers. A Tide to Go. Some Band-Aids. Allergy pills. I have them all labeled too. Um, some Advil. And then I have Emery, Boy Emery Boards. Some nail files and stuff. Just in case, you can never be too prepared and it also makes you look more professional if you just kind of have like an emergency kit and that kind of just shows your client that you're prepared for any situation. And same thing, this is just a photo box from Michaels. This, these are all the makeup palettes I usually take. Um, I just got this bag from Marshalls. It's one of those like travel bags that you use like to pack in your suitcase and stuff. So I'm just going to open this up. So I have my MAC palette. I just customized it with all my favorite MAC shadows. Obviously it's been very used. I have another MAC palette that just has some random colors in there. Some cool tones. I have Makeup Geek blushes in this one. They're very comparable to MAC, which is what I really like about them. And then another Makeup Geek. 
And then I have a ton of Make a Geek eyeshadows in here. This palette has obviously gotten a lot of love too. And then I have a Morphe palette. It's the 35N, so it just has some matte neutrals. This is usually my favorite for brides because it has all those smoky purple tones. I have my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I try really hard not to use this because I love it and I want to conserve it. <laughs> so um, I usually try to lean toward the other ones, but these do have like really pretty shades in there. Uh, these are my Morphe pressed powders. It could almost act as a contour kit, um, but I usually use these and they're super smooth, so I like them a lot. This is my Anastasia contour kit, which has obviously gotten a lot of love as well. And then this is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is usually my favorite highlighter to use on brides because they're so pretty and it looks like a glow within or if someone who's not super big on makeup doesn't want an intense highlighter, this is what I use. And then I just go back in like this and zip up. Now for the bottom portion. it's like all the way open in this top drawer is where I keep lashes um I have the Ardell Demi Whiskies the Ardell Glamour Pack and the Natural Multi Pack obviously these have gotten some use and then I have these random ones like on Cosmetology School which I normally don't use unless someone probably wants like Halloween makeup and then these are just some that I found on Amazon. I wasn't super crazy about them. I thought they were really pretty, but when you actually put them on, they look like you don't have lashes on at all, which is insane. Um, but I just keep them in there just in case. I have an eyelash curler, some eyelash glue, some latex-free eyelash glue. And then I don't know why this is in here. I don't use it. And then these were just random little jewels I used for Halloween makeup that I just kind of kept in there. In here, it's crazy packed. I have basically all my eye products in here. So I have MAC Pink Pot in Soft Ochre and Painterly for yellow tones and pinker tones. I have the Maybelline Color Tattoo just because I know I'm probably going to end up doing some type of gold. So I like to keep that in there just in case. And then I have two gel liners. I have the Makeup Geek gel liner in Immortal. And then I also have the Inglot number 77. I usually use the Makeup Geek because it's a little bit creamier. And then I have the Inglot Duraline, which basically helps me make it more of a liquid, um, which is easier to work with for me. I have a random NYX brow powder in there just to keep. Some Makeup Geek pigments. I'm just going to it out. I have Afterglow, which is a pretty gold insomnia, which is comparable to matte um, blue black, and New Year's Eve, which is also another really pretty gold. And then I have MAC pigments. I have Vanilla, let's see, Naked, Kitchmas, this MAC glitter in Reflex Gold. It's so pretty. And then I have tan pigment as well. And then I have the Morphe brow powders. This is amazing because I could do any type of eyebrow on anyone, which is awesome. And then this is where I keep eyeliners, brow pencils, basically anything having to do with an eye pencil. I have let's see, random brow powders in here from NYX, or brow pencils. I have eyeliners. I usually have Teddy and Smolder in here. I have some colorful Urban Decay ones, some brow pencils in here. I don't want to tip it too much because everything's going to fall out. But I pretty much have a little bit of everything in here. And then I have just regular black mascara. You don't need a fancy mascara in your kit just because you're always going to have to replace it. So I like to go on the cheaper side. Same with your clear gel for eyebrows. I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is usually best for um, more mature skin. And then just this random gold glitter eyeliner. I rarely use it, but it's good to keep. Good to have. 
family I know about how I like things laying in my kit. It's not even funny. Next, these are my lippies. So I have my lip lip liners on the side. I have all MAC lip liners just because this is what I prefer. I just find that they look ah! I just find that they last longer, so I have nudes, pinks, and burgundies and reds in there. And I have lip glosses in here too, some NYX, some MAC, um, just a variety of lip glosses. And then I have ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I don't really use these, um, I just kind of keep them in there to have. And then these are all my depotted lipsticks. So when I take these out, I can take them out individually and I scoop them out for product for my clients to touch up throughout the day and you'll see that later. But I have them all labeled by brand like this is MAC Smith, um, this is Maybelline New York, I just have tons of different brands in here. I have Elf Lines. Down here is just kind of like random stuff. I have makeup wipes. I have my little puff. My other one wasn't dry, so I couldn't put him back, but he's right there. And just a random elf um, eye cream. Practically out, I don't even know why it's in there. So I have the Nevea Post Shave Balm. I have MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Yellow. I have the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. I always recommend having a good eye cream and a good serum for the skincare portion because it's really going to make a difference. And then I use the Kiehl's Re Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. I really like this because it fills in like fine lines and stuff like that. I usually recommend to try to go travel size if you can, so you're going to see a lot of my stuff is travel size. Um, so I have the MAC Strobe Cream, MAC Oil Control. I have the MAC Essential Oil to usually like either dilute or make a matte foundation more um, deep. I have two Benefit What's Up um, highlighters. I rarely use these, but I just keep them in there to have. And then I have a mini fix plus in here. And then Aquaphor Lip Balm. This is my favorite lip balm to use on anyone. And then in here is like my favorite drawer because it's like a makeup artist organizing dream. I have all my foundations and concealers in here. Um, so I just bought these little bottles off Amazon and it holds 0.5 mils of product, which is basically like half a foundation bottle if you really think about it. And I labeled them all. So I have Revlon Color Stay. I have L'Oreal True Match. I have MAC. I just have them all in here. And then I have like NYX Illuminators in here. multiple illuminators in here and I just have them in these little containers that I found at the dollar store and they're just super convenient so I love them I have about 17 foundations in here so that's awesome um foundation recommendation if you don't want to go for like mac or something I highly recommend Revlon color stay I find it comparable to mac pro Longwear, which is my favorite to use on clients um and then I have the NYX dark circle corrector I don't really use this as you can tell but again it's good to have I have the NYX, or sorry, the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Again, don't really use this, but always good to have. I have MAC Face and Body to help me dilute any product, um, make something lighter if a foundation is too dark. And I actually love it. Here I have NYX HD Concealers. I don't really reach for these just because it's not as sanitary as what I'm about to show you, but I'll still go in with like a lip gloss wand and put it in there just in case to not cross contaminate. But I do have the correcting concealers in green and purple. And then in here I depotted all of my LA Girl concealers. All I have to do is just basically untwist it and I label them all and it's perfect because I can just scoop out product and call it a day. Then in here it's kind of like an organized chaos. I have like highlighters and setting powders. I have my MAC highlighter in, what is this, Beaming Blush, which is like this really pretty rose gold highlighter. I have Soft and Gentle, one of my favorites. I have these random e.l.f. ones that I don't really use, but again, good to have. 
I have Mary Luminizer right here. Oh my god, she cracked. I didn't even know she was cracked. This makes me really sad right now. I have the Bare Minerals Mineral Deal to kind of just set the entire face. L'Oreal Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, my absolute favorite powder. I have MAC Give Me Sun. I have this e.l.f. bronzer, which is one of my favorites for people who have like light, a lighter skin tone. Hula bronzer. Obviously, this has gotten a lot of loves. I have the NYC Smooth Skin one. I actually like this. Um, it does have a bit of an orangey tint, so but I like to keep it in there. I have my Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. Obviously, gotten love. And then I have these random Bare Minerals, um, I don't know what these were called, but they used to sell them a long time ago, I don't think they do anymore, but I like to keep them in there just because they're really pretty. They're just kind of cemetery stuff, so I have ripping alcohol, I have witch hazel, which I find is the best toner to use, um, because it's inexpensive and it'll last you forever. They have the regular Target brand that's like $3, um, or you can get, I forgot the brand, but I'll look it up and I'll leave it down below. Um, I know for a fact this is baby oil. The label came off. I have my cellar water in here, which um, I put in here before they actually sold the travel my cellar waters. It's just the Garnier for Teeth one. I have water because you never know if you're going to have a sink to wet your beauty blender. I have the set of four, which unfortunately the Cinema Secrets spilled all over. And then I have the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner in here. Um, but in this side pocket, I do have a drink for when I'm doing hair, so I like to keep that in there. Just a regular black drink, nothing too crazy. And here is my hair kit. I've done like tons of research and I noticed that like there isn't a lot of hair kits out there. Um, and that's what I struggled with because I never knew what to carry until I actually like worked in a salon and stuff. Um, so this is just the top. And then it has these two sides here. So in here I keep hairpins, bobby pins, and rubber bands. This little container I just got out of Michael's as well. And then I have duck little clips for setting and stuff like the main curl set. And then in here, this is just like a little magnet bracelet. So you put it on your wrist and you could put um, bobby pins, clips, and stuff like that um, just to make your life easier. And it has this little attachment, but I have yet to figure out how to actually attach it. Um, I think I just have to put it on like this. And then you could put like hair ties and stuff here, which makes your life 10 times easier. So love that and then in here it's just this little silicone pad which basically is meant to put hot tools and stuff on here and then when you open it up i just have tons of stuff in here um it's organized chaos <laughs> um so in here i have my shears i these are my shears that i do use on clients um like at work, I have my razors in here, and then my shears. Um, I only bring them just because if someone needs like a bang trim or something. If you aren't licensed, I don't recommend getting a pair of shears and carrying them. Um, just because you don't want to mess up someone's bangs, and that will be very, very bad. So I don't recommend doing that. But I keep them in there. But keep in mind, I am licensed. I've been in the salon. Um, so yeah. And then I just have all my products. So I have my Bumble Mumble Hair Dresser Invisible Oil Primer. Usually when I'm doing a hair set, I tell my clients to wash their hair prior and then I put products in it to set. Um, so this is one of them. I have my r Co. Death Valley Dry Shampoo. I have r Co. Park Avenue Blow Up Balm. I have r Co. Jackpot Styling Cream. at have r Co. Dallas. I have Bumble Bumble Surf Infusion, Bumble Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, Bumble Bumble Prep Spray. This is basically water, but it has it's full of herbs and vitamins that condition the hair and soothe the scalp. Um, which basically you can think as like a makeup primer. Um, this acts the same way, just for your hair. 
I have Bumble Bumble Spray Demode, which is basically a medium hold hairspray. And then I have Bumble Bumble Cream Contour. And then in here, I have all my clips and combs. Um, these clips right here, I found on Amazon, pack of 12 for like 10 bucks. I can leave a link down below. These are just Bumble Bumble clips that I just got at the salon. And then these are Goldwell clips that I just got at the salon. And then combs, you can use any comb. I have foil combs, just regular combs. Just make sure you have combs. In here, I keep all my brushes. I have brown brushes, flat brushes, styling brushes, basically just tons of brushes. I also got this at Michael's as well, or I'm sorry, uh, Marshall's. And in here is where I keep my hair tools wrapped in a towel. Um, so I usually have about two curling irons, or a few curling irons with me. This is a quarter inch, a one and a quarter. I just realized I forgot to pack my other ones, so this is a real thing I'm doing in this video. I carry a flat iron with me. And then I just wrap them just because you never know it's going to get hot. You don't want it to basically melt any of your products. Or sometimes I have to put stuff like up here, which is not a big deal. And I just pray that it closes every single time. This is my backpack. It's just an Adidas backpack um, that I got at Marshall. I like it because it has tons of pockets and yeah. So right here I just keep a hand sanitizer because you always need hand sanitizer. And then in here I have yeah, Clorox wipes to wipe down whatever surface you're working on. A lint roller, more hand sanitizer. And that's pretty much it for that first pocket. And the second pocket, it's a lot of like businessy stuff. So in here is like my client profiles, this is hair colors and foundations and things like that, all in here. And then this is an envelope. So basically, this is where money and receipts go. I just have a receipt book in here. I have a couple post its in case clients like whatever product I use and they want to know what it is. And then in here, I just keep like paper clips, a little stapler, and then there's a pen in there as well. And then I also make my clients goodie bags. So usually it has a thank you card, my business card, a couple like candies. I usually do like Hershey's Kisses. And then this is where their lipstick to touch up goes. And then I just put their lipstick in and call it a day. And then I have straws in here as well, just because if they're wearing lipstick, you don't want them to mess it up. So I just have straws in here. And then just extra little lipstick containers. And these like to go on. And then in this little pocket here, I just have another blow dryer. Not the pocket. I have this sterilite container, which is where I keep my products that I have to disinfect, such as like makeup brushes, brushes, stuff like that. This is my other makeup brush that I told you about. In this is like a Sedona lace um, makeup brush belt. These are basically all face brushes, and then I keep extra business cards in here. As soon as they go back in. If you guys want like a full video of like what brushes I recommend, let me know. And then I have a binder in here, which basically I keep contracts, um, written contracts, blank contracts, um, client notes. Um, I keep pens and sharpies and everything in here. I have like a little like binder thing, and I also keep extra thank you cards in there. I have my blow dryer. This is the Twin Turbo. I have paper towels, and then in here I just have um, like spoolies, dual tip, spatulas, popsicle sticks, the active spatulas, tissues, and the brushes and wedges. I basically have like disposables in here just somehow. Little pocket. I keep another drink. This is a Bumble Mumble drink. Could never be too prepared. And yeah, that pretty much sums it up. 
my kit wise if you guys have any more questions you can always just ask and i will let you know like certain things that work for me and have worked and things that clients like again i did tons of research on trying to get my freelance kit and i did not um invest everything all at once so it was years of building up and again i did work for mac so that is where i got my training and i also did go to cosmetology school so that's where a lot of my training comes in and i just do this on the side it's fun um extra money it's a lot of fun and i do plan I do plan on doing it full time, um, but for right now I just do it whenever I can as a side job. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty much it. Don't or feel free to subscribe and just ask any questions or if you want more in-depth videos how I do contracts and things like that. Just go ahead and leave a request down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!